hey what's up guys so here we are at this screen so we are stuck here and we don't know the username and a password and i want to access this because this is the best thing about Django. so how will i do this so let's just start into that and let's see how we will do it so let's move to our pycharm or any other id whichever you are using we have to access the terminal so let's once uh, kill this server so let's kill it and now let's clear it and now i'll tell you a few commands which you have to write and uh, it will be very easy after you will use it so you have to write python manage.py which you are writing from many of the videos and you should be now familiar with this now you have to write create super user which is our super admin so uh, we have to write this and when uh, after that whenever i press enter it will ask me for a username which we want to access that admin panel and here i can say write uh, admin okay it will ask me email address let's skip it by pressing the enter key and now i have to enter the password and let's write i am writing admin one two three four and it is not visible because of security let's press enter and it will ask for password again to confirm and again i'm writing admin 1234 and let's press enter and it is saying super user created successfully so we don't have to do anything else oh this just completed is it true yeah it is true and we don't have to do anything apart from this let's run our server again and let's see what happened so our server is running again let's go back to that page and here is our admin panel let's refresh it once uh, so that we cannot uh, you know go to that error page so let's uh, write username which is admin perfect now let's write the password as admin one two three four and let's log in and hooray we are into the admin panel and here you can see the beauty of Django and here on the right top side we have welcome admin view site change password logout lot of stuff you must be wondering we haven't created this and actually we created this we actually not created this but we write some code to you know um, uh, or, uh, to show this panel which is already existing in Django but we did some changes like we added our first tab which you can see here uh, where my cursor is and below that you have these two models which you created and there's a button of adding and changing that which we didn't create it but this is what Django is doing for us and that is why Django is beautiful so let's let's open these schools and here you can see there is a school entry already there which is xyz and let's select it and uh, here it has a name xyz it has address a b c d d d it has an email xyz at the gmail.com and it has a phone number 9710123455 which is the same thing which added and we can delete it from here we can save it and add another we can change it whatever we want to do we can do it and we also have the access to history also so that is such just beautiful let's add another so let's another school let's call it abcd address would be anything and email would be abcd at the rate gmail.com and phone number would be uh, let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine zero okay and this still should be little uh, the, the width uh, width should be a little more but uh, we'll fix it we don't have to worry about that and let's save it and here we have two schools now ABCD and XYZ now we really need to ch uh, check the another model whether that is working or not so we have another model here students and here I have one student which I created for my name in the shell and this is age 18 and blah 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 here I can select from all these schools which is quite easy for me rather than writing all those commands which was very pathetic and here let's let's add another student because I am I just want to add so let's uh, what what would what should be the name now let's name it on uh, some like Bill Gates or he went to school or not i don't know 
so let's write something and his age would be like 50 plus okay and uh, school would be a b c d let's say save and we have two entries here so we have our first tab we have our students let's um we can you know we can uh, delete it from here we can press the action we can delete and we can press go we can select all we can go here we can delete from here as well we have this history where it is saying that this much is the date when i added this admin user and action was added so this is the beautiful django panel overall and let's go to our users here to see and here is, uh, on the right side you can see the recent actions which we performed and that is also very beautiful so that if someone changes something then you must be aware of the fact that whatever has happened and who did these changes so right now we only have one user so let's uh, click on this users and here we have use uh, username admin and it has email address which is blank but uh, that is because of we didn't add it any email address here and the first name and last name as well uh, we didn't add that so we can write uh, we can click on it and here you can see a lot of stuff it has a password which is already encrypted and that is a very good in encryption as if you see you cannot crack it because it has a sha256 plus a more security to this and here i can provide my personal information first name last name email address and there's a permission uh, tab also where I can add permission that what it can access it is a staff status where is the active status here it is a super user status what I can control basically I have some groups which I can add or uh, you know remove and there are some user permission that I can you know uh, check log entries I can add permission I can change permission I can delete permission I can add user I can change that all those permission are actually I can control and here is some important dates which is last login and date join which is gonna be very 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 useful so this is about the Django admin panel it is the most powerful admin panel I have ever seen in any framework and this is the best thing about Django which I love the most and that is the beauty now we don't have to go to that uh, pathetic shell and we don't have to write so much code there just to add some users or something like that and i'll tell you one more thing which is the automatically faker which will add some data for us without even writing a single line of code so isn't that beautiful isn't that <laughs> amazing so we will write that in the next video and here this is the django admin panel so if you love this django admin panel give me at least 50 likes for this because this is uh, more than anything there is nothing uh, beautiful than this in uh, programming so you have to like this video and you have to subscribe my channel if you are not a subscriber and you have to watch other videos as well and you have to comment as well if you have any doubts or if you want to you know suggest something so i am ready for that so i'll see in the next video and we will talk about the faker and the faker okay so it will be amazing. So thank you so much guys and I'll see you in the next video.